Epilogue. Sire, oh. victory. Despite heavy losses, we now control the trade quarter. Excellent. What news from De Wet? He's dead. Cut down by that godless butcher, the Witcher. Useless De Wet. Have the town criers informed the people Adder has become a strigger? Yes, but the Witcher found the beast. Geralt of Rivia. Only he stands between me and... We must fan the flames of chaos. Release more of our experiments, and let the elves wreak havoc. Grandmaster, I must protest, as a nobleman and representative of... Enough. Give the people more food, and tell them any God-fearing human can find shelter at the castle of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Adalbert, I thank you for your loyal service. <laughs> Take him away. A new era dawns. An era of superhumans. None will stop me. I appoint you my new adjutant. Know your assignment? Kill the Witcher. Then go. Order of the Flaming Rose gone full out evil. Geralt, you've arrived at a moment that should be called nothing short of historic. Dandelion, I'm glad you're alive too, but I have important matters. More important than a Temerian redaining alliance with far-reaching consequences? Stop being dramatic and tell me what's happening. Allow me some common courtesy. Triss, my joy at this meeting. Triss, tell this clown to get to the point. So what's this historic moment, Dandelion? With the kingdom in flames, Foltest struck a deal with his neighbors. Doubtless with that ambitious pup Radovid of Redania. Geralt, Foltest should learn of the Grand Master's betrayal. We need to talk to the king. Okay. Oh. We're done chapter 5. This is the epilogue. And... Is there gonna be any more fighting? It almost feels strangely calm right now, because we know that Jack the Aldersberg and the Order of the Flaming Rose are still a problem. But we're not confronting them directly just yet. Oh. Yeah, we still got these four. We gotta see Foltis and tell him about DeWet and Jack the Aldersberg. Which are secrets? To retrieve the secrets stolen from Kaer Morin, I must find the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose in Vizima. Yes. We gotta talk to Boltest. We need to hurry. Hmm. Yes? Welcome, Witcher. Oh, you're right Sire. here! We have several things to discuss. Of course. Stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. You'll get the princess's hand, and if life has taught me anything, half the kingdom as soon as I'm gone. As for de Aldersberg, we need to be rid of him. The Witcher will slay him. What? Relax, we'll pay you as much as you want. I'm a Witcher, not a hit. All right, 10,000. <laughs> Isn't that a bit much? Come on, Foltest, the kingdom's worth a lot more than that. Yes, I suppose the boy's right. But you shall take home 8,000. It's a deal. So, oh my we're all God. agreed. Radovid, your armies must subdue the Order in Redania and in the north of my lands. My armies will embark on a mission of fraternal assistance. I don't want any fucking fraternal assistance. The phrase rubs me the wrong way. You are to smash the Knights of the Order and withdraw. Relax, Foltest. My children will rule this land. I don't intend to destroy it. <clears throat> Forgive me, Your Majesties, but I feel it's time I... One more thing, Witcher. Yes? So, let's talk politics. And don't you dare mention neutrality. Judging by your company, you're already involved. Possibly up to your nose. Sire, your wish is my command. To the average pleb in the street, the Order is fighting my armies. But make no mistake. This is a confrontation between me and the Grand Master. That ambitious fanatic directed all of Salamandra's actions and intentionally provoked the uprising. What do you mean? I thought you'd be interested, sire. Finally. Very interested. The son of a bitch is attacking me with steel, poison, and magic. It is time for you to choose your allies, and you must choose well, sire. <laughs> I see our sweet sorceress has already begun indoctrinating you. I believe it's time we finalized our agreement, sire. I will counsel and support you with wise words and magic. And with that of your esteemed female friends? Indeed you may. 
But don't forget, Marigold, I rule this bordello. Don't turn into Philippa. You're too pretty for that. King, sorceress, and witcher united against evil. Worthy of a painting. But all will be lost if we delay any longer. Sire, one other matter. Witcher? How is Ada feeling? Much better than she was as a strigger. Yet she won't be herself again for some time. Witcher, how can I thank you? I'm glad Ada is alive and well. Can you ensure that the Witcher's friends will be the same, sire? Yes, that's something I can promise. Witcher, I wish to know who was behind all this. DeWet transformed the princess. How so? He wanted to gain influence with your enemies. The bastard! If I could get my hands on him! Those responsible assumed your position would be undermined if the princess wreaked havoc as a striga. DeWet has been punished. I'm glad to hear it. Now go. Vizima is burning, fighting rages. You won't have an easy time of it. People see witchers as monster slayers. Rightly so. Few know we draw greater satisfaction from removing a curse or a spell. Swords are a final resort. As long as there was a chance I could save the princess, I had to try. It was worth it. Radovid and Ada. The Alliance. Whoa. A lot's uh. going on here. I must break through Vizima to the Cloister. The Grand Master must die. Serving the crown. The cloister, that's right. We've seen that so many times, but we would never uh. they never let us go in. King was furious about the wet's deeds. Of course, of course. Uh, serving the crown. <laughs> what happened while we were gone? Uh. It seems like Tamerian soldiers are fighting the order. Oh my god. Mm. This raise the hearth and poll taxes by three pence. Are you out of your mind? You must find fun somehow. I'll gladly listen if you have any better ideas. I shall confiscate the Order's assets. Calm yourself, Foltest. You uh, must raise taxes. There is simply no other way. I can exempt your merchants from paying for storage I along the Vizima Tretagor route. Hunt. Throw in one more concession and I'll agree. I shall forgive you all your affronts. <laughs> uh, Fine. Another 200 Grivners payable in two years' time. One year. 18 months. Raise the hearth and poll taxes by three ah, pence. Are you talking about the Temerian and Redanian alliance already? Can we get rid of the enemy first? Then Bold Foltest uttered these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. <laughs> Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword, and you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. Better write a good ballad about this, Dandelion. Okay, let's just stuff everything in here. I must press on and hunt down the Grand Master in the Cloister. Yes, they've been telling me that for a while, but I've just been like, not doing that. Oh, forget about this. Let's put all this crap in there. What do I really want with me by the end? Yeah, not much else besides the watermelon, I don't think. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, look at how much stuff we have here. Oh, it actually extends out to this area too. I didn't know that. Okay, I think we're good now. Do we want to put the swords inside as well? Why not? Why not? Okay. Forgive me, but I must fulfill my chronicler's duty. Someone's gotta do it. I need to finish something. I understand. Good luck. Gotta go to the order. Holy crap. Humans fighting humans. The Scoia'tael aren't even part of the equation anymore. Siegfried! Siegfried! I'm sleepy. Move, Geralt! I don't want to fight. Then don't force me. Stand aside. I have my orders. We must save this kingdom. Save? 
Then leave the civilians alone and fight the real enemy. True. We must fight the real enemy, those elven rejects. Boys, form up! And the civilians? They better leave. People, flee this place. Your king may provide shelter in these terrible times. Leave if you value your lives. Okay, so Siegfried does still have some sense of morality. But, uh, are you working with the greater brothers behind you? Filthy non-humans! Filthy non-humans! It seems so. And Siegfried is not particularly bothered by any of this. Not at all. Wow. Come inside, it's safer. You're right. Okay. Oh, we can't pass through the streets normally. I wish we got to talk to Siegfried a little bit more, but the situation doesn't allow for it. Greetings. Others stricken by war have sought shelter here. We won't stay long. We need to get to the monastery. So you're among those who have chosen to trust the eternal fire. Hmm. There's no sense in going out in the street again. You'll perish. Is there another route? Try the door in the cellar. Where does it lead? To other cellars. And an exit eventually, I assume. But I cannot guarantee it is safe. We'll risk it. The key should be somewhere in this house. I gotta go hunting for it? Vasga! Oh! Whoa, there's a whole bunch of people here! Vivaldi! Did you say I was siding with the Eternal Fire though? Cause I... I don't think that was... I didn't think that was the case. The squirrels and the order. Those dry ones disturb our swamp. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. Thank you for your wise advice, Vasca. If I'm looking for the key... Well, it's not here. You! Even you're here! Julian left for Kovir. Oh. Well, yeah, his to-be wife died already. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings. I'm afraid. The time for contempt has come, just as prophesied. What do you have in mind? No Ithleen's prophecy? Not exactly. The war with Nilfgaard proved it. For Ithleen foretold the blood of Enseid, of elves, would drench the land. People thought the age of the sword and axe, the age of the wolf's blizzard, had arrived. Know the rest? Not sure. Then listen. The time of white frost and white light approaches. The time of madness and disdain. Ted Dayred, the end of ages. The world will perish in frost. That. Enough that. pessimism. The prophecy has now begun. Depends on us. Farewell. May Melitele protect you. I don't care about prophecies. I care about the lives of ordinary people. I know you care about people. I saw Carmen happy with the captain of the guards. You know they got married? Nice to hear. Thanks to you, Witcher. I heard you cast a spell on Vincent. That poor girl deserved a little happiness. Poor girl? Carmen endured a lot. She lived in the outskirts. Her father was a priest of the Eternal Fire. Ooh. A damnable man of religion. When Carmen got pregnant, he cast her out. She went to Vizima. You know how that ended. I didn't know. Wow. Random backstory on Carmen here. The prophecy. We've definitely read it before, but I think the overall gist of it was really that basically everything is going to hell and it's gonna be destruction and chaos everywhere. But we can confirm. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with a new sun. Reborn of the Elder Blood. Is there going to be a child here? A seed? Huh. Has the future already been determined by destiny, or can we still dictate it? You here? On an important mission for the King. Praiseworthy. I too wish to offer Foltes my services as an advisor in these difficult times. Sadly, I could not get through burning Vizima. 
I need to get to the monastery. I have learnt much about a phenomenon of interest to you. The wild hunt. Tell me. In folk culture, the king of the wild hunt embodies death. He is the one who takes away souls. He is oft considered as the tool of destiny. Destiny? The wild hunt is an omen of war and tragedy. It has oft been seen recently near Vizima. Beware. I must go. Farewell. And we've already met it once, when you were telling me to go to the Druid Circle place. Greetings! Prospering Dwarf? War can be profitable! If not for the King's taxes, the plague take them! How did you get here? Don't you see? Knights, soldiers, and Skyatel run through the streets, cutting down who they can! I am a traitor to all of them! I see. And all their heads are filled with prophecies, destinies, strange signs and other nonsense. No one to talk to. Sorry to hear that, but I need to go. Farewell. <laughs> Sorry, I don't actually care about your troubles. We need to hurry, Geralt. This place has a strange effect on me. Does it? Huh. Vivaldi is a little bit of an interesting case, because even though he's a dwarf, he doesn't want to side with the Scoia'tael at all. But everyone is against him now. Whoa! Who is that? Witcher! Oh, you! Good to see you. I see war is to your liking, Vitala. I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. I guess this is kind of like a little section for you to get around and see the people you've seen again before. Ah, oh, there's the key. Here we go. Zugul Vigor. That might be the last monster we're fighting. The Glean's Prophecy? I'll take a copy for good luck. Alcohol? Sure, sure. Let's read this now. One silver and one gold talent when consumed. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. This is the guy that we met at the cemetery. Yeah, the talking ghoul. He's randomly showing up here again. Whoa! Oh my god, whoa! Can we get some advanced warning for this? Oh, thanks Triss. Everyone's dead. Yeah, okay, let's get going. I thought this was supposed to be the safer route. Madman? Go away! There were monsters in the cellar. I'll die anyway. They'll find me. They'll get me. Calm down. How do we get out? Through the window. Thanks. There's no door here? That's... That's weird. Okay. We need to hurry. Right. What happened to the door of this house? So you live. Yevon. The sight of you sickens me. I'm in no mood for riddles. Teruviel is dead. I know no. enough to blame you for her death. You certainly played a part. Oh, Toruviel is dead, and even though I didn't kill her, I left her there, so that's... yeah. Are they killing civilians right now? The Scoia'tael? Are the Scoia'tael still around here right now? Because I thought the big thing was Tamarian Knights versus the Order. No one even cares about the Scoia'tael for the moment. Open your eyes, Yavin. Your beloved war killed her. Stop drowning the world in blood. Try building for a change. Humans, elves, dwarves, we all hate. We all kill. This cannot go on. The fail, Wolf. Mm, time to move on, but I sense a fight lies ahead. 
Oh, that's the, the order. We can sort of ignore them. It's not really any of our business, is it? Our time is now. At them. Free the elves. The assassins. The order of the flaming rose and the salamandra kind of got lumped into the same side. We'll have to get dirty. The only way to the monastery leads through the sewers. The order doesn't guard it. Not since Azugal made its nest there. A big one. It's had a lot of fresh meat. I hope it hasn't had time to procreate. I doubt it found a mate. Zugals don't need mates. They're hermaphrodites. Zugal was the thing that lives in trash. And it, um, it procreates in trash, I think. Ooh, how do we get through here? Can we just walk through? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Now I'm burning. Here? Wait, this house looks completely different. Wasn't this supposed to be the... The Dwarven blacksmith? He's not here anymore. Wow, and this house is directly linked to the sewer. Okay. Where are we? Zugal's nest. Wow. It's somewhere in the sewers. Any advice? Don't get eaten. I'm serious. Stay out of range of its tentacles. Zugals harbor all kinds of contagion. If you have any spells against infection... I should have. Let's go. Okay, I'm relying on you, Triss. You better keep me healed and stuff. I have swallow potions. Is that gonna be good enough? Hopefully. This way? Wrong sword. Oh, there was a spot of power behind us. It was so long ago, when we were first in the sewers, fighting a cockatrice. Patris, do we have to kill each tentacle individually first? Is that how this goes? Doesn't seem like anything's happening. Just Ignea Bunch. Ignea Bunch and hope it works out. Oh god. Can I really hit them though? The tentacles. I feel like I'm having trouble doing that. Oh, there you are. I can get you. Nope, it's hiding again. Maybe I should use this time to drink some water so that we can get back some endurance. Water... What happened to my water? Did I store my water? Oh my god, no! The one thing I actually needed. God damn it. Okay, it's fine. We'll be fine. I can't attack the tentacles, actually. It doesn't seem to... Oh, the upper section. We can't get it from the bottom. Alright. Oh! It's parrying me. The tentacles are parrying me. Oh, he's back. So we just gotta keep this up and get rid of this guy. Nope. Again. We can do this. It should be fine. So many tentacles. Holy crap. Oh! Our health is... It's doing okay. We're okay, I think.
Burn it. Even though we're in the water. Nope. Okay, we should probably take a swallow potion then. This fight is taking a little bit longer than I imagined. Oh. I'm getting... Ah, the tentacles! They're all slapping me. Here. He keeps looking at me, so I can't get behind him. Ah! We got him. And we can get the Zoogle Venom. I'm right behind you, Geralt. Do you want to heal me? No? Not like Shawnee? I know she would heal me. Maybe Triss is more of an offensive magic user. Fine, fine. We have a fireplace here. Oh, yeah, let's pick some of this up. Let's try making the potion here. Zugu Vigor. Mm -hmm. And we also have talents this time, but uh, we're gonna have to meditate twice if we want to use all of them anyway, so let me just meditate one hour first. Hey, Triss is gone. I don't know where she's gone. Nope, not yet, not yet. I forgot to drink the drink. The potion. Here we go. Bronze? Sure. Silver. Three silver. Mm. I guess I can try using group. Honestly though, Igni is putting in so much work right now that I feel like, aside from boss monsters, I don't really have to use my swords at all. Chance of causing pain. Pain might be pretty good. Yeah, pain. Why not? This one? We can't get it because we don't have these two. We have two more silver. Raises chance of incineration. Only for group silver. Precise hit. Okay. Two gold points? Mmm. Vitality plus 20%, that could be good. Potion Toxicity. Sign Intensity. And then Vital Vitality plus 20%. There we go, we're good. All this time, we've been trying to reach the monastery. Are we getting any closer? Where are we? Eternal from fire, air, from air, fire, fire. Let's just play. Oh, not right now, guys. It's in the middle of a battlefield. Typical. A mob led by a madman. Again, someone will have to decide for them. This time, it'll be us. I'd rather they made their own decisions. Are you sure that's what they want? We need to give them the chance. Let's go. What else would you want to do to them? He speaks true. From air, fire, war. Eternal fire! Blessed are the humble. Yeah, if they don't want to leave, I guess that's just that. The nurses are still tending to them. So From tired. air, fire, war. This way ah. goes back to the inn. That's not what we're looking for here. We gotta go to the cloister. They're ready for us. There's two more here. Let's grab them. One more. Oh, there's a few over here too. Do we care about those guys? Hey, come back here. Oh, Triss, I'm sorry. They were all supposed to be following me.
Good. Time to enter the cloister. I still want your loot. Oh, they don't have loot. Okay. I guess that means we can ignore those guys? Almost there. We'll find Jacques de Aldersberg in the monastery. Damn, I'm out of potions. Could I ask you to... Geralt, what would you do without me? Wait here. I'll be back in a blink. I'm... Oh! Ah, I was doing that to get her to go away. But what I really want to do is go in by myself. Because I'm such a lone wolf. And I don't accept help. Surprisingly calm in here. Halt! No passage. Grand Master's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Halt! What? No passage. Grand Master's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. Sorry. Yes, I got the point the first time around. Thanks, guys. I must prepare for a fight to the death. Okay. Got you here. While the town is burning outside... Oh, there's a key. The key to his chambers. While the town is burning outside, this guy's like... I gotta seek solitude inside my own chambers. <laughs> okay. Yup. We can wait for our endurance to come back a little bit, but otherwise, I don't think we actually have to do too much to prepare. We got the Swallow Potions here. White Rafford's Decoction. Willow Potion. I think these three are really all I need. Let's get going. Oh, all well, the people are here too! I forgot about that! That's right! He invited everyone here for food! Behold my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches. A cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ethelina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. <laughs> you, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Oh, he's teleporting me somewhere, hasn't he? Oh my goodness. So this guy, just like Alvin and Siri, he's a source and he's seeing things in the future that tell him to make perfect superhumans and kill off everybody else. Okay. Behold, the scales will fall from your eyes and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. So 
somewhere far north. I don't know where we are at all. Wait. Oh! <gasps> this isn't Vizima, is it? In the future? Now that you have seen the ice encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. <laughs> Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some. The Salamandra. Oh, portals again? Oh, whoa. You're gonna make me walk over there? Whoa! I can't believe we've got some time traveling going on here. This is Vizima. This is the Cloister. I must move on and face the Grand Master, no matter what appears in my way. Omen of Fire. We haven't even met these guys before, have we? Wait, do they even get hurt? No, because they're made of fire. They don't get hurt. They don't get hurt from this. We gotta fight them the old-fashioned way. I guess that's the one weakness about Igni here. So at first, it seemed like a political conflict between the Scoia'tael and the Order were really the only thing at play here. But then the Salamandra, it turns out that they were working with the Order as well. And they actually did all of this because, supposedly, they want to save humanity because we know that in the future, according to the prophecy, we're all just gonna die. So might as well make some superhumans who can try to avoid that fate. Am I understanding everything here? The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind, yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you. But only a blizzard follows us with nothing beyond it but death. Oh. So it's almost like a simulation here, but not quite. I must go on carefully. Death will be very real. I must overcome all obstacles and climb the peak to confront the Grandmaster. Skullhead! Whoa. We're fine. I think we're fine. The moment they die, they turn very cold-looking. Have we even seen skull heads before? I don't think so. And there's more. There's more. Still no map for this place. Triss can help me out, and we'll be okay. Yeah. Now it's not blocked anymore. You haven't changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. <gasps> Some my own great-grandchildren. Oh! Human. The White Frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. 
Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. Thank you. I must go on, pay no heed to the ghosts of the past. She gave me Tawny Owl. Thank you? The Skullheads. They have no bestiary entry because they're human. Is Triss making me glow right now? Or like, why am I glowing like this? Dang. Lightning Storm. Oh. Interesting. These are humans. In the future. According to what Jock de Aldersberg thinks anyway, because it's all in his head. There's no confirmation that this is actually all going to happen. Is the lightning stuff the Alzer's shield again? The same thing earlier from Azur Javid when he was scared of me. I see you have met our degenerate great grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? You think this burden easy to bear? Like you, I try to hide my otherness. To use my powers to redeem my sin. What sin? The worst of all, my otherness. So I acted for the common good. The good of the few you handpicked to survive? No. The good of all who would die. The dead wander here still. Tell them to their faces they did not deserve to live. And he's gone again. I can't let myself be deceived by the Grand Master's visions. I must go on. Wild Hunt Wraith. Ooh. But he's no match for us. Not at all. Oh! You cannot stop this, Witcher. Death follows you. Is that the... the king of the wild hunt? Death follows me. We can't kill the king. I remember that. But we can kill his minions. Selena. Murderers never know peace. Those thoughts always come too late. As if I had a choice. You never knew feelings that controlled your every step. It's hard. It is hard. I know it's hard to act contrary to your feelings. We're toys in the hands of fate. Before it casts us apart. Accept my gift. Thank you. I need to move on before I freeze. What did she give me? Soul Catcher. Restores vitality with each opponent killed. Ah, uh, and these have no time limits. It's Abby and Selena's gift to me. For helping them out. This way. I don't even have to fight by the end here anymore. I'm just completely using Igni. Oh my goodness. But when we fight the Grandmaster, that's probably not gonna be the case, because the Koshche... Koshche earlier really gave me some trouble. Vizima. Wild Hunt. There he is, again! Why are you playing with me? Fight me, fair and square. Do you finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. 
Why so obsessed about other races? I was prepared to sacrifice anything, to save humanity at all costs. Do you know the saying, the ends justify the means? I do. You sound pathetic to Eldersburg, as if you believed your own lies. Non-humans, their extinction is not a goal, but a means. Since you detest humans so, I'll leave you with my no longer human serfs. You have much in common. You should get along. I don't hate humans, nor do I hate non-humans. Two. Triss's lightning is really powerful. We have more on the way. My endurance is coming back super fast right now. It might be a gift from Abby or Selena, or maybe even Triss. Oh! You thought you could stand aside. I wanted no part of politics. I'm a witcher. I'm neutral. We fought for those we love. You scorn that, for you'll never understand it. A machine created to kill. You had no choice. Your time has passed. You're obsolete. The world has no use for you. Lay down your sword and rest, Geralt. Have the courage to face me, Jacques. Stop hiding behind specters and illusions. I'll find you. You won't get the chance. I must defeat the ghosts of Siegfried and Yevon. They're just ghosts, so I have no problem killing them. No. I am a little bit curious what kind of loot you guys would have. Not much, as it turns out. I'll take that. I'll have the pork as well. Yeah. We keep going. Oh! Look, Alvin. It's just an illusion, Triss. But what about the real Alvin? Yeah, I completely forgot about him. What are we gonna do about him? How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin. Used them for the worst ends. Witches were meant to be guardians, but proved too weak. You loathe yourselves. I needed witches, but perfect ones. Emotionless, lacking human weaknesses. You see human traits as weaknesses? I pity you. Fear obscures your thinking. My knights never hesitate. Your knights right there? It won't be long now. I can feel it. Onward. Let's try using my sword a little bit here. Even my swords. They're standing no chance against me, no matter what I use. Ada? Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, your highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? <laughs> the Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim. Whoa! Ah, I've gained an ally. She'll be useful during the fight ahead. Oh, more fun than a banquet at the new Narrow Court. <laughs> You'll reach him soon. Don't give up. Okay. Oh, but no. What about my allies? We all made it somehow. Oh my god. Cakewalk. 
Here we must part. Why? At the heart of the vision, he controls all. You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. Something is very strange about Triss's voice acting here. I must go alone. The confrontation draws near. I'm meditating in the middle of nowhere. Okay. The Witcher Secrets. I must overcome all obstacles and climb the peak to confront the Grandmaster. Ada, Triss, Siegfried, Yevin, those were all just ghosts. They're not really here. I don't have any talent. There's no reason for me to meditate here. I don't think there is. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not sure what Jack the Aldersburg thinks he's trying to accomplish right now because I think he wants to convince me to join his side by showing me this icy place, but I don't feel like I'm getting any bit convinced at all. It's not concrete enough. This is all in your head. How do we get in? This way? You. Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's hospital. By pursuing me, <laughs> you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that, but they need to be taught and led. They need you. I think the big thing right now is that you're taking these really concrete actions for something so far into the future that I can't possibly understand even if they are gonna come true. I'm just a goddamn witcher, man. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits. We're not gonna end this without a fight. Again! Oh my goodness. It's just mutants. We're fine. We're fine. We'll be fine. But I will take a Swallow Potion, just in case. We're fine! Oh, these guys again. They're immune to fire. It's not good for me. The Grandmaster isn't. So I will focus on him first. We can try using the group style here to get the other guys. Whoa! He's in pain, he can't move. Oh! What? Oh, why would he kill him? Again, Wolf, have you fulfilled your destiny? Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection all remain unknown. Resurrection! Words, words, words. You've always used them ably to mask uncertainty and fear. I once promised I would follow you. Gibberish, Spectre. Tell me what you want or disappear. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer Morhen, an omen of its downfall. 
I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You brought death upon Raymond, endangered Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You threw gold to the Skoyatel, fueling new massacres. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. Vizima blazes. The Order and the Skoyatel bleed, Temeria. Does your neutrality not taste bitter? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. <laughs> you dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. He wants Jock the Aldersburg. Do I want to give him to him? The King of the Wild Hunt. I guess he's sort of like a Grim Reaper. That's exactly what he is. He follows me around. And wherever I go, death follows me. I never really thought about it like that, but that's totally true. Everywhere we've gone, it's always been worse by the time we leave the place. If I give him the Grandmaster, will he leave me alone forever? Somehow, I don't feel like yielding to the King of the Wild Hunt is a good idea, though. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess. Oh, we're fighting the king of the wild hunt? I seem to recall that he's invincible. We can try. Holy. Well, his health is going down a little bit, but very, very slowly. Whoa. Don't get your lackeys to come get me. That's cheating. I'll save the Igni for his lackeys, maybe. I think I'm using the right sword right now. The Moonblade, yes. He's not dead, only gone. We're good? Okay, can I kill you now? Um, is something supposed to happen or... What's going on here? Ah. That sword is for monsters. Glad you realized. What's he holding?
Now we're back to reality, right? But Jack the Aldersberg is dead in real life. But we didn't even touch him in real life. You're awake, Gerald. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The fighting has been quelled. Foltest has regained control. However, Triss supported him. The effects have been shocking. Is she all right? She's fine. She stayed by you until I arrived. Then she had to go. You know, political duties. Caught between the king, her sorceress friends, and her personal life. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. Element. To end this story, I must recover the stolen secrets. The Grandmaster should have them. <laughs> Remains of Jacques de Eldersburg, Grandmaster of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Even in death, his title is... Very long. <laughs> I love how it's so generic sounding. The name of this item is just Secret Stolen from Caramorin. <laughs> A sealed jewelry box containing the last of the stolen Witcher secrets, which I have now retrieved. Oh, Dimeridium Amulet. That's what this was. Oh, cause he's a source, so he needs one too, just like Alvin. Something ends, something begins. Yeah, something ends, something begins, and identity. Alright. We got the secrets back. Our whole reason for our long journey out of Kaer Morin. It's finally done. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. Yeah! It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. What? A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his what? way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control oh inborn God. abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. No! What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed... You've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Can we please just take a moment to process that information just now? I'm pretty sure they were saying that Jack the Ellisberg is Alvin, but older in the future. Oh my god, I... <laughs> Suddenly there's time traveling in the Witcher series. That's not really what I was expecting here. Whoa, and we killed him. Oh my god. Whoa, there's some real-time paradoxes going on here, because when we first found Alvin, the Order of the Flaming Rose was already founded. But Alvin was still a kid, but then Jack the Aldersburg was... Whoa, whoa, this is... Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Anyway, what do I intend to do now? To be honest, I'm pretty tired. I started this whole thing because I wanted to get the secrets back. My quest is over. In a way, my life is truly beginning now, but immediately after all the fighting, if you're asking me this, I just, I'm just tired. I'm tired, Dandelion. I want peace and quiet. As I thought. I've known you for years and never seen such fatigue in your eyes. People expected too much of you. Yet, as always, you rose to the challenge, no matter how unreasonable it seemed. Don't get me wrong. I'm overjoyed to be able to talk to you again. But perhaps you should have stayed there, on the Isle of Avalok. Seems I'll never find rest. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. It seemed the conflict between the Order of the Flaming Rose and the Scoia'tael would turn Vizima into charred ruins. Foltest, however, found a solution. He let the two sides bleed each other. The Order's power waned quickly following the Grand Master's mysterious death. The flower of elven youth perished, fighting in Vizima's streets. There were no victors. The non-human uprising weakened Temeria, and Foltest realized he would need capable diplomats. 
Triss Marigold became a royal advisor. Sorceresses gained influence. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. They were, of course, soon replaced by others. Mm. Common folk saw no difference. They were too busy licking their wounds, seeking loved ones. Few people knew what had actually happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet, they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. We're at the end. And you can tell because they put money into this cutscene. <laughs> Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Better be 8,000 at least. And I did way more than just that. But fine, you can have the credit, whatever. Oh! <gasps> Boltist? that. Was that a little bit of symbolism here? The pouch of gold being used as a weapon, like I don't care about gold anymore. Deep inside, maybe I care a little bit about doing the right thing. Who is it? I don't know who that is! Who is that? Was that guy a witcher? His eyes were all golden and stuff. Was that what it was supposed to be? Okay, wait, forget about that. Can we go back to the fact that Alvin and Jack the Eldersburg is apparently the same person? Oh my god! Off the top of my head, I can't tell if that's like... a genius twist or something they pulled out of their ass. I, I honestly can't tell. While we were going through the ice fields, I was thinking, Oh, what is this? Why are we suddenly time traveling now? And like... Jack the Eldersburg is the final villain, even though we've never even seen him before Chapter 5, really? But if he's actually Alvin, that adds quite a layer to the story going on here, doesn't it? In the very beginning, we have secrets being stolen out of Kaer Morin, and that's why Geralt has been going through this entire thing, trying to find the secrets to get them back. But it turns out that it wasn't even Az or Javid, okay? He was a pawn too. Jack the Eldersburg wanted to steal the secrets out of Kaer Morin because he thinks that humanity is going to go extinct later. And presumably he thinks this because he's a source. And 
they have future prophesizing powers and Eileen's prophecy and all that. So he's stealing those secrets because he wants to make superhumans who can survive the extinction. And in the way were the non-humans, the Scoia'tael, the dwarves, the elves. So anyone who gets in his way, he's got to get rid of them because he's thinking of the bigger picture here. He's trying to save humanity. Okay? While Geralt of Rivia was traveling throughout the Zima in the outskirts, looking for the Salamandra, he ran into a little boy named Alvin. I'm trying to wrap my head around how all this would work, but I guess it's a pretty... It actually is a fairly typical time travel trope, although it's not one that I really expected to see in the Witcher series, of all things. The Sauros can travel to the past and the future? Oh, but the fact that we were taking care of him throughout all those chapters, only to end up killing him by the end, without even definitively realizing that that was Alvin. Although I'm pretty sure the whole dandelion Geralt conversation was supposed to hugely hint at that, but Geralt himself doesn't know. Oh my gosh. That's... This ending is not what I was expecting, in a good way. Maybe it's a good thing he doesn't know. Yeah. Alvin aside though, that is the end of The Witcher 1. Whoa, it's been so long and we're finally here! If I'm being honest though, this actually took less time than I imagined. I think I started playing last year in November? I went at a slower pace for this series than I usually do because it's, um, it's an older game and I want to have some room to get around to newer games too. But even at the slower pace, it was... One, two, three, four, five? Oh, actually, if I put it like that, it's been like almost half a year. Oh, okay, never mind, maybe that was quite a while. The Witcher 1 on the whole is so fun, and I'm so glad that I played this. Because a lot of you people, a lot of you people were saying, oh, it's quite a dated game, maybe you'll have some trouble getting into it. Like, I know people weren't saying it to discourage me from the game or something, but I honestly didn't think anything in this game was that hard to get into. Literally, the only thing that bothered me was the crashing. Everything else was... You can tell it's dated, but it's not... Nothing was a deal breaker for me. Although, this game came out in 2007, I believe. I looked up a list of other popular games that came out in 2007, and I was a little bit surprised because it includes stuff like Portal, Bioshock, Crisis, the first Uncharted. I feel like The Witcher 1, if you compare it to those games, it just seems like it came from not 2007. It feels more like a few years back. I did see that no clip documentary on CD Projekt Red though, and I believe The Witcher 1 is their first official game that they've made. Although it feels kind of technologically lacking in a lot of ways. I also feel like it's really, really ambitious. Every single chapter had a different location and tons of quests and characters, tons of Lore entries, the glossary, the character pages, the ingredients, the formula, everything. Like you can tell that there's a lot of passion involved in making this game come to life. And I feel like it might have to do with the fact that CD Projekt Red is a Polish company, and the Witcher series, the book series, is also a Polish series. So there's a desire from CD Projekt Red to bring a Polish story into the global international scene. Yeah, this game lacks in polish in a lot of areas. Polish, not Polish, we got plenty of Polish here. There's also a lot of little, sometimes big, oddities with the game design here and there. But at its core, it's such an ambitious game. I really, really enjoyed it. But I think an important part of why I enjoyed it so much is also because of reading the books. Because the books don't have bugs or glitches and they're all just about the story and the, the lore and the setting of the whole place. Because remember, I started The Witcher 1 immediately after finishing reading The Last Wish, so I think that really helped set it up for me. Mm -hmm. Even in comparison to a lot of games that claim your choices matter these days, I feel like... Well, it's hard for me to tell because I've only done one playthrough so far, but I have felt like my choices matter, so if nothing else, if they can at least keep up the illusion, that's pretty good to me already, and I'm happy. Yeah, I mean, this was a pretty long game, so it's kind of difficult to sum up all my thoughts on it at the very end here like this, but... I guess the important thing to know is that I really enjoyed it, and 
If I enjoyed The Witcher 1 already, how much am I gonna enjoy The Witcher 2 and 3? Oh my god. What a neat little game. I sort of wonder how it was received when it first came out during its time, because I'm guessing The Witcher series these days has a lot of prestige because of 3, and maybe 2 as well, I'm not too sure. But um, did people think it was really good back then already? I'm guessing it might have been something like a cult classic. Hmm. Well, anyway, this was my long journey with The Witcher 1, finally coming to a close here. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I hope to see you back for... other things? Yes, I'm playing The Witcher 2, are you crazy? Why would you even need to ask me this? Uh, as of recording, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take a little bit of a break or jump into it immediately, but in any case, I will get around to it for sure. So I will see you when that happens. Thanks again and bye!